It would be an understatement to say that the 737 MAX has gone through some rough turbulence lately, an aircraft whose reputation has now been forever compromised by the accidents of Lion Air Flight JT610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight ET302. And so it is no surprise that said accidents have resulted in dramatic repercussions, not only for Boeing, but for airlines, passengers, and basically everyone involved in the industry. This situation is arguably the most shocking in recent aviation history, and one that has become a worldwide crisis overnight. And so now that the plane has been grounded for about two weeks, I wanted to update you guys on what has been going on since then. Now although there is still no final word on what exactly caused the two tragedies, much of current ongoing investigations are centered around an automated system known as MCAS, or Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. What this essentially does is it determines how much the plane is pointing up or down relative to oncoming airflow, and when it detects a dangerous angle, it automatically pushes the nose down in an effort to prevent it from stalling. In the case of the Lion Air crash back in October, it was found that a faulty sensor erroneously reported that the plane was in a stall, and thus caused it to nosedive. As far as Ethiopian Airlines goes, a very similar situation occurred as well, in that the flight also experienced a nosedive, and otherwise shared very similar characteristics in flight behavior leading up to the crash. Okay, so what's new? Well, you probably heard that Boeing is planning on issuing a software update to help fix the issues with MCAS which is to be done by decreasing the chances of the system being triggered. They are currently in the process of testing this technology, and just this last Saturday, pilots from three different American carriers met at a gathering in Seattle to try it out. They ran simulation flights, mimicking the situation of the liner crash, and thankfully all pilots managed to land the plane safely, saying that the new system requires less pilot intervention. Though not a completely reassuring response, this essentially is good news since in the crash of Lion Air, the pilots probably didn't know how to react when the MCAS was erroneously activated, so having this will help to eliminate the chances of pilot error. Aside from this, Boeing is now standardizing an $80,000 warning light as part of a mandatory update for all 737 MAX aircraft. Previously, this was only an optional feature that could be applied at the discretion of each individual airline. Unsurprisingly, both of the MAX planes that crashed did not have this feature implemented. The light will warn pilots of a sensor malfunction causing the anti-stall system to activate unnecessarily, and keep the plane from entering a potentially catastrophic nosedive. So, what else has been going on with the MAX? Well, you may have heard that immediately following the crash, airlines were quick to demand compensation for the grounding of the plane. Norwegian and Smartwings were among the first airlines calling for Boeing to pay up. More recently, however, American Airlines have announced a huge cancellation of flights due to the grounding, up to about 90 flights a day, going all the way to April 24th. Southwest Airlines, on the other hand, have just sent about 29 of their MAX planes over to Victorville, California, for long-term storage before the planes can be put back into service. So that brings us to this question. How long until the planes are permitted to fly again? Well, although there has been a lot of effort towards doing so, we simply do not know when it will happen. It could take weeks, perhaps even months on end, before the plane is deemed fit to fly again. What we do know, however, is that Boeing is working hard to fix the issues surrounding the plane, and is planning on implementing the software update as early as in a few weeks' time. So with that, let me know what you guys think of all of this. Do you think Boeing's reputation with the MAX aircraft is in shambles? Would you still be willing to fly on one if it were put back into service? I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say, so please let me know in the comment section below. Anyhow, that's it from me. A fairly comprehensive video this time around, but I wanted to make sure I touched upon all of the things that have been going on lately. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all very soon.